Hi, this is Pat Morin. We are live at CES 2023, Las Vegas. We are in the Froy Systems Experience Center here, and it's been a rocking show. It's been filled with people, filled with lines, all the great stuff you can expect from a CES, but there's also some incredible technology as well. And it's my pleasure uh, to introduce Sishu. Good to see you, my friend. Thank you, Ben. Yeah, it's been great getting to know you over the past uh, couple years. I mean, I think we we met first at Qualcomm. That's right. Right, a couple years back, but here we are in your own company's. I I, I couldn't just call it a suite because you got a lot of cool stuff uh, going on here. Thank you, Pat. It's a pleasure to have you here. Yeah. You know, we are a four-year-old uh, Silicon Valley startup, and as you rightly pointed out, I was a VP in Qualcomm prior to that. That's when we first met. Yeah. And last four years, we've been in stealth mode building this great new technology, and we launched the product last month, and thank you for the shout out last month. Absolutely. And it's great to be here at CES, you know, after several years of, uh, you know, remote. Yeah. It's really good to get back together and show what we've been building. Yeah, so let's start at the ground level here. So, uh, what does your company do? Well, we have been tackling the last big frontier, I would like to call, in computing. Every single component in the compute platform has been getting better and better every year, more slow. But there's one key aspect of the compute platform, which is the thermal solution has seen very little innovation. Folks are still using fans in these devices. And the fan was invented a century ago. It was invented so that you can stay cool on a summer's evening. Yeah. It was never meant to actually remove heat in a compute platform, but we got stuck with it. So four years ago, uh, Surya Ganti and I, we were both VPs at Qualcomm. We asked ourselves the question, why is it the case? Why can't we do something about it? Why can't we have a chip that can remove heat efficiently from a compute platform? People must look to you cross-eyed when you said that or thought about it. Right? Well, nobody thought it was possible. <laughs> Everybody says, you know, if it were possible, someone else would have done exactly. it before. Exactly. And my response to that is, well, we never tried before. <laughs> right. So we're going to we're going to crack the code, and well, that's, that's what we did. Yeah. So um, you and I are knee deep in this challenge in in different areas. As an industry analyst, I I kind of have to explain the problem, uh, but you're actually solving part of the problem, and it's very basic, right? Uh, you know, uh, uh, power. Uh, performance uh, and area are, are three key things when it comes to whether it's silicon or, or even a system. And, and quite frankly, uh, due to the slowdown in Moore's Law, but also the insatiable need for more compute, we're at this point where uh, we can't have better battery life. We, we, just, we just want it more. And if, if we want more or more performance, typically that comes at the cost of more heat and, and, and more power. And, and you're right, you know, the fans go back a long time and they've gotten fun, fundamentally better, but essentially the same basic design. So talk me through uh, cooling a system with a chip. Sure, sure. Cooling a chip with a chip. That's correct. That's exactly what we're doing. Such a and mind here's, bender. Here's, here's <laughs> the chip that we built. We call it the air jet. And uh, it removes heat. It uses air to remove heat, so it's yeah. an active cooling chip. And it solves this problem that you have in computing, as you said, with the slowdown of Moore's law. If you want to deliver higher performance, uh, you inevitably have to consume more power. Right. And all the power that's consumed in the device is converted to heat. So there is a thermodynamic equilibrium that you have to maintain in a compute device where the amount of power, ultimately the amount of power the processor can consume has to be equal to the amount of heat you're able to remove. Okay. And the amount of heat you remove is entirely up to the sophistication of the thermal solution that you would use in the device, which ultimately is just a fan. Right. And that's not getting better year on year. So uh, while well, you have all these processors that are much more powerful this year than last year, the thermal solution that's used in those compute devices is not any better. So ultimately, the amount of performance you can actually extract out of the processor in a real scenario where it's actually going into 
a super thin consumer device is is limited. Right. And we are trying to unleash the processor performance to its full capability yeah. by improving the thermal envelope. And we improve the thermal envelope by just inserting these chips into the compute platform, which replaces the fan. And the beauty of it is you can put multiple chips if you want to have a larger thermal envelope. Footprint, yeah. So I, what our vision is that you know, the thermal solution in a compute platform should be somewhat like memory. If you want 8 GB, you add one chip for right. memory. Right. You want to go to 16, add another one, 32, 64, just keep adding more memory chips. Same thing should happen with uh, thermal. And with AirJet, you can do that. If you want to have more performance and more thermal envelope for your device, just add more chips. You don't have to make it uh, bigger. You don't have to make it noisier. How much heat can you actually pull off with this, though? Each of these, you know, this is our first generation. Right. And in the first generation, this chip pulls five watts of heat. So if you add four of these, you'd get 20 watts. Right. And you can do that in super slim form factors because the thickness of this chip is only 2.8 millimeters. A lot less, half or less the thickness of a fan. And this is completely silent. So when you use the chip, you're not going to make the device noisy. Another important aspect is that we have a very high back pressure in this chip, which is essentially a suction force. Yes. It's so great that this chip can create an airflow even through devices that are dustproof. We have 1,750 pascals of back pressure in this chip. That's the equivalent of, if you want to do that back pressure with a fan, right. this is what you'll need. That's amazing. This is the kind of fan you have to put in a compute platform if you wanted 1,750 pascals of back pressure. And that kind of back pressure is required to create an airflow through a dust-proof device where all the vents in the device that let in air and out are covered with IP68 dust-proof material. Right. And if you cover it with IP68 dust-proof material, how are you going to pull air through? Well, you need a lot of suction force, and that's what our chip does. That's, that's incredible. So just so I can play this back, so hypothetically speaking, uh, I could put a... 20 watt chip in a 10 watt chassis with two of these is that how the equation works yeah okay at the uh and it's going to be silent <laughs> and it's going to be silent that's great <laughs> right so i think the whole whole notion of having a bunch of holes that let dust into a compute device right is unacceptable right it's a compromise that uh, we are making because of a lack of a sophisticated thermal solution right and we're going to change that yeah, so um, it's almost, I think the first time you walked me through this, like I said, okay, what am I missing? This is just way too simple. I mean, does it, does it consume a ton of power, more power than a fan? I mean, how? No, we, we've actually worked on power optimization. You know, it's taken four years to build this. So right. It's not the overnight <laughs> thing, you know? People forget that. Well, here's the thing. It, <laughs> uh, pundits like myself, we make it sound so easy. Like, you know... We just, wanted to make it sound easy. We just woke up and it, right. it, it just happened. But no, I mean, literally, it's one of these things that the value proposition, based on my experience, and I've, you know, over 30 years, either in and around processors and PCs and, and, and devices, it's just one of these just super simple things. It's, it's, it's literally... Too good to be true. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I, 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 I say this often. You know, when we started the company, nobody believed that this could be done. Right. And I, I say that some people don't believe it even after they see it. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> because I think, I think, you know, there's a great quote uh, that I came across which says that if you want to deliver true innovation, yeah. look to areas that are neglected. Right. You know, everybody's working on AI chips. Right. No one's working on a chip for thermal. And that's what we wanted to do. We wanted to make a contribution to the industry yeah. in an area that has not seen much innovation. And it's been really tough four years, believe me. Right. <laughs> well, and, to get where we are right now. And we have thermal issues in every platform that I'm aware of, whether it's a smartphone or a tablet or a PC. Cars, right? Even inside of cars, people don't want to have fans. That's right. Right. Uh, inside. And it's funny, you were kind of jogging my memory on the dustproof thing, uh, the conversations with automakers, right. and we talk about thermals and fans, and their biggest issue is not including necessarily the fan, it's the fact that, that 
you can have dust that comes in that can, um, you know, lower the life uh, of the product itself. So what the same thing, same yeah. thing with laptops. What you platforms know, have you are, ever opened a laptop? It'll make you throw up. No, no, I, yeah. <laughs> no that's that, that's a good point. So uh, what platforms are you targeting right now? Uh, we are starting with super slim, ultra thin laptops. We think that the best contribution we can make on day one is to essentially raise the bar yeah. on what is essentially called a fanless notebook form factor. Right. And the fanless is synonymous to low performance yes. as it stands right now. Sure. Without chip, every laptop can be fanless and every laptop can be super slim. You don't have to make the accommodations that are currently made just so that you can have a higher thermal envelope. You can do that while still remaining thin, light, silent. Right. Well, and, and, and I think the way that the industry is trying to solve um, thermal issues inside of platforms without a fan is throttling, right? That's right. That's right. Ultimately, that's the that's kind of like the uh, escape hatch. Yes. You know, let's say your processor can run at 3.5 gigahertz clock speed. But when you put it in a fanless notebook today, where your thermal envelope is limited to 10 watts, right. the same 3.5 gigahertz processor is limited to half the frequency, which means that you're leaving 50% of the performance on the table. Right. Not because the processor is not capable of running at 3.5, but ultimately because your thermal solution requires you to throttle back right. the processor performance. And that's a lot of money that you're paying for that you're not getting the benefit of. Well, I've seen, uh, you know, in tablets and gaming phones, uh, the amount of frames throttle, the performance literally goes down by 75%. You're absolutely, and, correct. And you're that's, absolutely correct. And and what's funny is that more people don't talk about that because when you run a benchmark, right, you maybe do, you do one loop, but it's a big difference between you know, trying to trying to play, you know, some cool game for an hour straight and you're wondering why you're either throwing frames or another trick that, that we do in the industry is to turn down the quality level and it starts to get pixelated uh, and everything like that. So this sounds incredible. OK. And so how how's been how's the reception been? It's how been have your fantastic. conversations been going here at uh, CES? The CES has been terrific. Fantastic, and thanks to you, Pat, for a shout out. Uh, Listen, I, I'm an educator, right? That That's what we do, and, and like I said, um, I interact with about 150 different technology companies, and a lot of them are software, but a lot of them are infrastructure, and this is, I think, a quarter of our conversation is how they can do uh, more with less power or more in a, uh, a low ambient environment uh, without fans, and also, uh, competitively, particularly if you're on the Windows side, uh, on the PC side, uh, you know, uh, Apple's picking up a bunch of market share and they're looking, you know, at, at, at the capabilities of, of a chip like that. And the market is, is, taking, is, is taking notice. So I also see people using your technology to help them compete uh, a lot better in, in different uh, environments. But I don't, I, I don't see an end in, well, first of all, as a startup, you have to focus, right? You can't be all things to all people, but uh, we have thermal challenges in almost any electronic platform uh, that's out there or the opportunity to get better performance uh, out of it in, in the same ambient uh, environment. That's, that, that's huge. That's right. And, uh, you know, this is a first generation product. And as I said, we are focusing on fanless notebooks to improve the performance of fanless notebooks. And this is a perfect fit for such a device. But it can also go into a lot of other devices, particularly IoT devices, yeah. consumer electronics devices that will help. This chip will help improve their performance and reduce the size and make them quiet. So there's a lot of applicability, but this is just the beginning. Yeah. You know, we believe that this fundamental technology is going to evolve, that we're going to make sure it evolves to support all segments of the industry. And also, you know, we've now moved thermal into semiconductor manufacturing. I'm still means, trying to wrap my head right, around this. Okay? Which means that this is going to get better and better. Watch yeah. this space. Yes. Come see us again next year. <laughs> right. Yes. Right. Now that's cool. Um, Sishu, we talked about smartphones, tablets, and notebooks, but I think I saw a camera uh, over there uh, as well. What, what's going on over there? 
Like do camera, I didn't know cameras needed to be cooled. Well, you know, it, cameras are getting very sophisticated. You know, people want 4K video and they want really high quality, DSLR quality, and they want a lot of AI features to go along with it. And that requires a very sophisticated processor. And those processors generate a lot of heat. Right. And the camera, you know, look at it this way. There's really no reason for the camera to be bigger than the size of the lens. Interesting. But every camera you see has got a huge ass. And the reason is thermal again. Right. So if you add an air jet into a camera, you improve the thermal envelope, and you can dramatically reduce the size of the camera. And we have a great example of a company called Opal Camera, and they've got this fantastic webcam, does beautiful work, DSLR quality 4K, but it's the size of a smartphone. Not quite the size you want when you're putting it on your laptop uh, as an accessory. Right. So using Edgeit, you can basically reduce the size of that by 50% while maintaining the same performance uh, by just increasing the thermal envelope in a smaller form factor using AirJet. Yeah. So we are very excited about the potential for transforming consumer electronics devices that you use every day by making them quieter, thinner, and higher performance using AirJet. No, I love it. I wouldn't have guessed that uh, there'd be a camera, but then again, uh, I have a 4K camera on, on my desktop and it gets really hot. Yeah. So. It only really has to be the, uh, the dimensions of the lens itself. Interesting. Exactly. It gets hot because that's the only way heat can escape. The hotter it gets, the more heat can, be, uh, it can escape into, into the ambient air. But then you touch it, you'll burn your fingers. Right. You, know, you never want any consumer device to be hotter than 45C. And that's the mantra that's followed by all the smartphone vendors, for example. And the camera guys should do the same. And they can right. if they use the airjet. Ending question here, like what are your priorities? Well, first of all, when are we gonna see, when could we see systems with your technology in it? In 2023, Pat. Okay. Uh, we are right now designing in this. That's exciting. So it's Many not platforms. Some, Obviously you know, I can't jump the gun to yeah. like, give you information about who they are, Yeah. but you will see consumer products in the market before the end of this year that has our technology that's delivering higher performance uh, in those products, making them quiet, yeah. making them dustproof, and it, we're going to delight the consumer. It's exciting stuff. Uh, I can't wait to, you know, maybe you can make me a special build or something uh, with, uh, with, with one of your systems, because it's funny, I've had, uh, uh, I had Air, my AirJet in my pocket the past, you know, couple nights I've been showing it to people, and uh, they're, they seem to be uh, uh, pretty jazzed about that, but it would be even cooler is if you, maybe you can uh, convert my laptop or, or, or something like that. I don't we'll, know, we'll talk. Absolutely. You know, we have a few demos where yeah. basically we have taken existing laptops and retrofitted it, we took out the fan, yeah. retrofitted it with the AirJet to show that we can actually deliver higher performance while being quiet and dustproof. And as soon as the show ends, yeah. I'll give you one of them so you can take it home. How, you heard it, but we got this on video, so uh, you can't back out. So, no, we're, hey, thanks for coming on the show, Sishu, and congratulations to you and your team. First of all, it's so hard to be in stealth mode. I mean, because you just want to tell everybody about it, but you can't. Uh, but you figured out uh, a fundamental, uh, you, you've helped solve a fundamental challenge that the entire industry has uh, when it comes to anything that's uh, in infrastructure. So, appreciate you coming on the show. Thank you, Pat. You know, as I like to say, heat is the enemy. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. And AirJet is the magic beans. Oh my God. That will help you slay that enemy. Did you, did you practice this? <laughs> okay, this is great. No, Sishu, thanks again. So this is Pat Moorhead with more insights and strategy. Uh, we have cranked out another podcast here at CES 2023 in the Ferrari Systems Experience Center. I wanna thank you for tuning in. If you like what you heard, hit that subscribe button. If you have any feedback for me, you know where to find me on social media. I spend way too much time uh, on there. Uh, take care and have a good one. Bye-bye.